G'day mates, it's me, Adrian G, and today I partnered up with Promescent, a delay spray that helps men last longer in bed. So today I'm gonna to be going out to the beach and asking girls how long they think a guy should last in bed. And remember, if you do enjoy this video, just click the like button, I really do appreciate that. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. All right guys, so we're just joined here with Adele. Adele, nice to meet you. My name is Adrian, and today we're just asking a question, and that question is, how long do you think a guy should last in bed? <laughs> oh my god, um, a little while, <laughs> more than like a little while. So let's say two than, minutes. No, okay. more than like fifteen minutes at least. Oh, more than fifteen <laughs> minutes? Yeah. Oh, that's a little while. Yeah. Um, it depends how good he is. Like, if it's really good, he doesn't have to last that long. Okay. But, um, if it's good though, if it's going really good, as long as he can, hopefully like an hour at, like, at how, the how, how do you tell if it's going good or not? Is it, like, the connection you have with the guy, or is it just certain tricks he's using? The tricks, the connection, the moves, everything. Yeah, yeah. What if the guy only lasts a couple of minutes? I mean, it's a little disappointing, but like, it's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It wouldn't Everyone's have... different. You'd still see him again after? Yeah, of course. If they're a nice person. Adele, Adele, what kind of tricks? Like anything? I can't just like give it away. It just has to come like, it's just natural. Like, okay. yeah. Do you think if a guy lasted, you know, a couple of minutes, you think that would affect the relationship? Say for, for example, you're just going into a new relationship? Possibly. Okay. okay. <laughs> what would you recommend to any of the guys out there that are having a problem like this? seek help. So guys, we are just joined here with Paula. And today's question is, how long do you think a guy should last in bed? <laughs> um, maybe half an hour? Or do you, what do you mean? Half an hour? Yeah, half an yeah. hour. Yeah. yeah. That's like yeah. minimum? Yeah. Minimum? No, so. no, I think half an hour is okay. Minimum is about 20. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know. That's so hard. That's what she said. <laughs> No, no, Paula, but seriously. Okay, um, 25 minutes at least. 25 minutes at least? Yeah. Do you think, what if what if it's like 10 minutes, do you think that would affect like the dynamic between you two, like the relationship? No, it depends what you do before, so. Uh, yeah, because I thought he didn't like me that much, so. Yeah. <laughs> so did you stay with him or no? For one year, but yeah, then I because I wanted to travel here. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, have you ever experienced a time when it's like a guy just lasted a couple of minutes and that was it? Um, yeah, definitely. And how was that experience? Like, was it awkward? Did you see the guy again? Like, did, did it make you think differently about that guy? No, I don't know, everyone has their days. Uh, say for example, a guy lasts two minutes, you don't think that would affect the relationship? Like, a new relationship? I mean, if it happens every time, yeah, yeah, I guess so. If it happens every time, would you recommend maybe the guys to get Promising Climax Control Spray? A spray? There's a spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much a spray where it helps guys last longer, so it, it makes them more in control of the climax. Sure. I mean, if they're down for that, yeah. I don't know what, like, what, what I would want. Yeah, just your opinion on... I don't know, like 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes? Yeah, I get it over and done with. What's up, guys? So we're just joined here with... Megan. Megan, and where are you from? England. <laughs> England, nice, nice. So today we are asking a couple of questions. First question is, how long do you think a guy should last in bed? Oh, it's a minimum. Yeah. About 15 minutes is good. 30 minutes depending on the mood. Okay, but nothing under 15 minutes. That's like, no. It's like you got to work on that. Yeah, maybe. Um, like how many rounds or how like in minutes? Yeah, minutes. Minutes? <laughs> uh, probably about, I don't know, 20 to 40. 20 to 40, so like minimum 20, max 40? Uh, maybe minimum like 10, 15, okay, but okay. max 40, I guess. And what if he only lasts like three or five? Then we're going to go for a second round. What if he can't go for a second round? Then I'm going to have to kick him out. <laughs> mm, are we talking like foreplay? The whole thing. Mm, maybe like 30 minutes would be solid. 30 minutes total? Is that, to finish. Oh, is that, that's like minimum? Yeah. And how much of that is the actual act? Uh, 20? 15, 20? 15, 20? That's like minimum or that's solid? Maybe minimum. Maybe 30 minutes? Yeah. You? Yeah. That's like minimum? Yeah. Um, do you think it's something that actually matters in a relationship? Do you think if he lasted two minutes, it would still like be the same? 
Probably not. Probably no. not. Do you think? No, definitely. Why, why is that though? Well, because it would just be shit in bed, and it's important. Oh my god! Yeah. The longer, the better. The longer, the better. So <laughs> I'm just gonna say ten hours. Okay. You? <laughs> yeah, I'd go an hour. An hour? Until minimum? I bored, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And 10 hours is minimum for you? I mean, no, you just jumped to that conclusion. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. I'd say as long as I've, you know, done what I need to do first. Yeah, so <laughs> a couple of minutes or? No. <laughs> Probably about an hour, yeah, an hour to two hours. Alright guys, I'd like to thank Promescent for sponsoring and making this video possible. Now, if you're a guy and you only last a couple of minutes in bed and you'd like to actually improve on that, well, Promescent's Climax Control Spray may just be the solution for you. They use a patented formula to help guys like you last up to 64% longer in bed. So, instead of putting in 100%, you'll be able to put in 164% in bed. Now, it is backed by clinical studies and is actually the only North American sexual enhancer to have a credibility this concrete. Not only that, but this product has been recommended by over 2,000 urologists. So the way Promiscent works is that it helps close the orgasm gap. You know, on average, it takes 17 minutes for women to reach climax, where for men, it takes on average five minutes to reach climax. So why not be science with better science, right? Anyway, it's really simple to use. All you gotta do is just apply three sprays to the underside of the head and shaft, then simply wait seven to 10 minutes. And it will not transfer to your partner if you wait the recommended five to seven minutes after applying. And one more thing, this product has target zone technology, so the whole area doesn't go numb. They've actually changed the composition lidocaine from a solid to a liquid form to ensure the solution penetrates the skin and targets the underlying sensitive nerves. So yeah, if you'd like to grab a bottle for yourself, all you gotta do is just click the link in the top of the description and grab it. It's as simple as that. And if you want 10% off, use my discount code Adrian. So yeah, that's about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all for another video next week. Um, so would you recommend any guys out there say that are struggling to last longer to use Promising Climax Control Spray? Uh, yeah. Like yeah. So pretty much it's like a spray, they spray on their dick and then it helps them last longer and helps them stay in control of the cli climax. Um, yeah, I mean, if they're only lasting a couple of minutes, then why not? Hi, right, Paula. Um, do you not hang out sometime? <laughs> You're here for a year. Yeah. I'm here for like four months. Four months. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a number here? Yeah, I do. All right, awesome. You can just, you know, put it in. <laughs> Paula.